In this video, I will be using our large scale RC car to test different gear sets so that you can make an informed decision on what set you should be running. And the result was quite surprising. I will be doing these tests with my modified Roven 32cc engine. Right here, so I've worked out some kinks here. Checked what this GPS analyzer, I haven't used it a lot yet. So it's actually got some really cool features. So I've just got it on drag settings. Let me see if you guys can see something here. Okay, so I've just got it on drag racing settings here and I set it 25 meters. And that is the distance we want to go. It will show you the G-force, it will show you the uh, um, acceleration, it will show you the max speed. So that is awesome. So all I got to do is click start and then floor the car and hope for the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screenshot all these settings and then I'll put it on the screen there for you. Let's do the first run. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We got a top speed of 52 kilometers an hour, a time of 283, and the G-force it pulled on this thing was a 1.03. All right, well, let's see how this compares to the next couple of runs. Okay, so we got a much better time on that one at 267, but a lower speed, so that's very interesting to note. And the G-Force on that pool was only 0.96. Well, I say only, it might be pretty high. Right, so I did two speed runs and it looks like I don't have enough distance to stop that side. So I just moved my starting point back a bit, so I can get 25 meters easily and then stop at that cones on the other side. So I'm going to do one more test and then we're going to swap out the gears. Okay, so another 276, one kilometer an hour faster, and the G-Force was only 0.81 on that one. Let's see what the results look like side by side. All right, so we've got an average there of from 2.67 to 283, so it looks like about 2.7, and a top speed or average speed of 52 kilometers an hour. Right, this is where I apologize for my video upload taking so long. I was editing and then two files, 1856 and 1955 gearing, went corrupted. So I think I need a new hard drive. The other videos on that hard drive is fine, but those two just plays halfway and then it crashes so I can't edit it or anything. So here I am with my 2054 gearing. I am taking it off to put the 1856 back on and re-record. So it's a bit chillier today than it was the last time I tested the engine. Spoiler alert, the last time I recorded or tested these gears, the 1856 and the 1955 performed better than the 1757. We're going to see if it's the same now. I'm going to do the tests again and let's see what the results are. Right, so this is 1856 gearing, run number one. A very good run at 276 with a max speed of 53 kilometers an hour and it pulled 0.85 G's. Run number two. A very good run at 258 with 52 kilometers an hour. Also 0.85 G's. That is very surprising. Run number three. A 269, very good run, max speed of 53, 0.81 G's. Let's see what the results are side by side. Best run was 258, and uh, that I think is going to be a time to beat. 
Time for 1955. Radio, we got the 1955 gears installed. This is the first run. Nineteen fifty-five, very poor time there, two point nine with a very good max speed of fifty-five. And low G's, huh? Let's see if the second run proves any better. Nineteen fifty-five, run number two. Two eighty-nine, just about the same, same top speed, but pulling a record one point one G's. That's impressive. Just not sure how accurate that is. Run number three. 3. Alright, last run. The time looks a little bit better. The speed is actually a bit crazy. When you relook at the video, it actually sounds like the engine struggles pulling off, but the acceleration is pretty good. So let's look at the results side by side and compare. Okay, so 1955, it gives us poor times, good top speed. That's what you can expect. Radio, we've got 2054 gear sets in my car, and I'm about to burn my clutch a little bit, so that you don't have to. Just to show you the tests. Busy resetting the GPS, let's give it a whirl. So first run on the 2054 gives us a 2.8 with a top speed of 52, which is not fantastic. The G-Force is also very poor, but that's what you get for running high speed gears. Let's give it another whirl and see what we get. So you can hear you don't get that top high RPM out of it. It doesn't get up to top speed, so we should get some good speeds, but low times. Alright, second run, pretty much the same, a little bit faster and a little bit higher G-force on that pull. It looks like I stopped before it hit 25 meters. I think I'm going to have to extend my run. I don't know if I've not let it long enough. I mean, this must be 25 meters. Let's try a 30 meter run. I pulled the car back a little bit so we can get a little bit more distance. So the results on a 30 meter run doesn't really tell us anything other than the g-force is the same as the first run on the 2054 gears um, the speed is even slower than the 1955 at 25 meters so i actually did expect more but we can see on the graph that there was no drop off acceleration didn't stop so i think it could have gone even faster if we've got a greater distance but this is not that test I'm gonna do one more run, 25 meters, just so that I've got a good average on that 25. I wasn't too happy with that last run. All right, so the last run on the 2054 gearing looks a lot better. Once again, the graph looks like it drops off in an acceleration, but the results are very good for 2054 gearing, um, better time at 286, better speed at 54 kilometers an hour, the g-force is about the same, so yeah, that settles the average for the 2054, let's look at the results side by side for the 2054 gearing, very interesting results, right, I'm gonna put them all up side by side, okay, so I thought that uh, third 25 meter run was actually a better time, but Looking at the results here side by side, you see it's all average, it's all the same, same results. This is what you're going to get on a 25 meter drag race with the 2054 gearing. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put all the best results of each gear set next to each other so that we can see which one performed the best. Here it is. 
Right, so here we got our four gear sets laid out. And first up is the 1757 with a best time of 267 and a top speed of 52. The average for the 1757 was 2.75 and uh, average speed of 51.6. The 18 best performing time was 2.58 which is amazing with a top speed of 53 and the average of the 18 was 2.67 with an average speed of 52.6. The 19 tooth 1955 gear set best time was 2.79 and the top speed of 57 which is our record speed and the average on the 19 was 2.86 with a speed of 55.6. The best for the 2054 was 2.8 and Top speed was 54 and the averages of the 2054 gear sets was 2.85 and a top speed of 53. So this shows that the 1856 gear set for this specific setup, drag racing off-road, was the best gear set. This will change depending on the track, depending on the terrain, depending on your tires, depending on your engine, your exhaust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same kit, the same carburetor, the same exhaust and see what results we get with the custom built 29cc and we will do exactly the same tests. That is it for today. Next up we're going to do an engine swap to that 29cc and then we'll see how that performs with the same gear sets. See you in the next video.